what's up guys welcome back to another tutorial <laughs> let's talk about this set this set is so cute i really love the different shades and i will want to do this set in purple because purple is my favorite color but yeah this is super cute i am going to be showing y'all the full process well starting with me putting on the tips and um yeah the only thing majority of it is sped up because i do show both hands since i use alternating colors but i did zoom some parts in and slow some parts down Some of y'all may know about this hack and some of y'all may not, but you can pretty much use nail forms as a ruler. So mine has short, medium, long, and then and extra long, and it has in between numbers. And I stick two of them together and I just use that to measure. So at first she said she wanted, ex wait, no, we didn't do extra long. I think we did in between extra long and long, but we decided to cut again and go for long instead. She also decided that she wanted coffin, but as you guys know, I don't do traditional coffin. I do tapered square, so that's what I'm giving her now. But if you do traditional coffin, cut more off than what I'm cutting right now. I know I don't show you guys me shaping all the time and honestly it just be kind of hard to record because my hands and my fingers are just always in the way but I did leave it in for this video just so you guys can see because on some parts you actually can see like now I'm about to get ready to zoom it in a little bit and yeah you can at least see my technique.
I love using round files instead of the square ones because I feel like I can see so much better. And I kind of like how they bend a little bit because y'all know the square ones really don't bend. I feel like the fact that it bends actually helps me out a little bit. Then you just want to go ahead and blend that nail tip in with the natural nail. This step is very quick. It shouldn't take nothing but like two seconds a nail. Just run your drill over it to at least get it a little bit smoother. And then also to get rid of any residue of glue that's left on there. Because you just don't want to take any chances with lifting. Okay, so just go ahead and get that off. Dust your girl off and then let's go. So I got some more protein bun finally because normally I use dehydrator, meal secret, and then protein bun. But I ran out of protein bun and just was too lazy to go buy some more. And I finally got some during the Black Friday sale. So now I do meal secret once and then I go in with protein bun once. And yeah, that's how I double prime. And then it's totally fine to use the same primer to double prime. But girl, I'm just a little extra, you know, just a little extra. And I feel like protein bun is so sticky. I love it. Mia Secret is really sticky too. But protein bun, oh, she gonna get the job done, period. So I like to go and put that on top of the Mia Secret. And that combination right there, undefeated. And then this part is optional. I'm just putting a thin layer of clear because all of these colors that I'm about to get ready to use are pretty much very soft and not able to stand alone for real. So I'm pretty much going to be using a sandwich method where I'm going to lay clear, lay the color, and then lay some more clear. These are all the colors that I'm using, guys. Um, Just pause the video. Just pause the video. This chisel one is my favorite. This color is so... Y'all see me? Y'all see me in the top? <laughs> my hair was everywhere, child. Anyway, this color right here is so pretty. But the next color my co-worker made, so I can't really tell y'all where to get it. I borrowed it from her. She made it. That's that. So I pretty much used all the same blues with the same undertone. That's very important. Make sure, even if you're not doing blue and whatever color you decide to do, make sure they all have the same undertone. Because if you get one with a warm undertone, it's going to throw the whole look off. So we decided to start with light to dark on this side and then dark to light on the other side.
just a heads up girl my application will be slightly off because all of these colors are pretty much very runny and super soft so I just had to do a lot of brushing trying to make sure pretty much just going back and forth with it until it finally dried up because y'all know it's cold outside and whenever it gets cold it takes forever forever to dry and that's one thing I really do hate about um doing nails temperature plays a big part and a lot of people don't know and 80 percent of the time it's us waiting on the acrylic to dry and the other 20 percent is us having to do these crazy designs and then make sure the shape is on point but uh i'm so impatient i'll be wanting my acrylic to dry as soon as i put it down seriously which that's not a really good thing because that's what mma does and baby we do not use that over here This chisel color is so pretty. I don't even know where to put it on the scale. Obviously, it's in the middle, but it's so rich in color. It's just so pretty. And then also, when it comes to me capping the nail, on some nails, I cap the whole thing. On other nails, I just cap the cuticle area in the apex. I just only cap the whole thing if the color was super thin. So, for example, this color is super thin. When I pick up the bead, I'm literally trying to keep it from falling off of my brush. But after a while, it did kind of um, solidify. And y'all know I never show the thumb, but this color is so bomb, I had to record it. And also, don't mind my hands. We did a soak off before we did the set, so that's just acetone and acrylic still stuck to me. But once again, these colors are runny, so when I place my cuticle bead, I place it far away and then push the product into the cuticle.
Now I'm literally going to do the exact same thing, just reverse.
y'all know I gotta give y'all the angles. Yes, get into it. Apex check, sidewalls check, C curves check. Now y'all know, y'all know my nerves bad. And me having to draw stuff, for some reason, I can draw more intricate stuff a lot better than simple stuff. With simple stuff, y'all, my brain just goes crazy and I be stressed out. But I use my Young Nails Mission Control in the color Fizz, mixed with a little bit of Gelixir so that it's not too thick. And I use my Agalor brush, the 25 millimeter, and y'all, I just held my breath. After I got done doing these, I just used my small 3D brush to clean up a little bit and then we'll be done. 